Hello everyone, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today's task uh, is uh, considering C major RV171. Uh, this one actually has a title uh, that Vivaldi, if we have a look at the uh, Vivaldi's autograph uh, uh, manuscript, sole source for this piece that survives in Turin along with the rest of his um, personal collection. You can see at the top it says uh, Concerto del Vivaldi and then over here this funny squiggle here is uh, Vivaldi's shorthand for pair or four and then you have SMCC. Uh, it's not anything to do with any funny cricket club because they didn't play cricket in Italy. Um, we think this is uh, Per sua maestà Cesare e Cattolica which is um, uh, basically means it was written for the Holy Roman Emperor, uh, Vivaldi's mate, uh, Charles VI. Um, uh, Charles VI, uh, one of his ministers, complained that um, uh, Charles VI had spent more time talking with Vivaldi about uh, musical matters in two days, uh, more, than, more time in two days talking with Vivaldi than he had spent talking uh, to his ministers about how to run the country in seven years or something like that. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cracking piece. It's, um, in actual fact, it is shortly to be uh, featured on a release of ours. Uh, so uh, we've got a, uh, a strange uh, but wonderful uh, release coming up in, in July on the Signama label again. This time a disc called Extra Time, basically because um, the, 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 all the music um, included on the disc comes from uh, sort of snippets of sort of five minutes here and there that we had had at the end of sessions uh, and we stuck this concerto down uh, when we were recording The Godfather, when was that? Uh, last year and uh, uh, because because the disc is called Extra Time we thought we'd give it a bit of a football theme so I don't know if anyone you saw yesterday but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, one of the Everton shirts for this year uh, for the uh, 1920 season, see Ever uh, Everton on the front, then on the back we got we got Vivaldi number seven. There's a reason why Vivaldi's number seven, um, and that's because any uh, Vivaldi sequence worth its weight is always stuffed for the sevens. So there you go. Albanoni's got the goal uh, goalkeeper's shirt. That's uh, number one because he's first on the disc. Mateus, uh, the younger has a number two because because he's the younger and then uh, Brescianello um, is a number nine because every good Everton team had a good number nine. Anyway, so that's, uh, there'll be a funny cover um, for that disc that we will share with you as soon as we can. But uh, back to this concerto, um, this is probably, I guess, round about 1730-ish. Uh, just look at the front page, it's um, the, the, the first page of the concerto. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very um, common uh, theme amongst Vivaldi concertos that you, uh, in, in autograph, that, you, that he starts incredible. I mean, the, the, the quality of the handwriting there is, is beautiful. It's incredibly neat. Uh, there's a couple of funny little um, uh, scribbles that he's put in the margin here. I can't work out what that is. Um, and there's another one down here that looks like a Campianova or Cangianova or something. Anyway, I need to look at that. Um, so, but if we if we contrast that to um, so the the neat writing for page one, and it, and it is it is a it is a working manuscript because there are crossings out and things. I'll just try and find one. Um, uh, oh. oh, uh, uh, oh. Hold on one sec. Um, well, that's an example of how the handwriting has deteriorated. That's, that's the slow movement. Um, and uh, as you can see, is the, the, the speed of the handwriting is, is so much quicker. Um, what's very interesting is he's written out, the, the solo part is um, incredibly detailed with slurs and little ornaments and graces and things like that. Um, as, as usual, um, it's very common to find um, in Vivaldi manuscripts around, around about this time that he will have uh, totted up the number of bars in the movement. That's why you've got a 19 down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And here uh, he writes tutti il basso. So um, again, we saw this in the, uh, the E major concerto we were looking at last week 
where he writes, um, again for slow movement, the bass, the bass line on one stave, but basically all the, all the, the whole orchestra play the bass. Um, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolutely cracking piece, no doubt about it. And the, the, um, uh, the finale is, is, has, partic has a particularly good um, opening written out. So there you go, uh, that's 171. I think we'll give that an aid rating of uh, eight and a half. So yeah, gets my vote, that one. See you tomorrow for Concerto in C minor. Thanks, bye.